Well, hello everyone. You're back once again with Jeremy. Um, if you guys watched my last video, I told you I was gonna go ahead and make a video that same day. And if you're observant, you'll notice that my shirt is not the same. While this is still a wonderful shirt, obviously it's not the same day. Reason for that is the appointment I had was a dentist appointment. My dentist is absolutely awesome and she wants to ensure that you don't feel anything and she was replacing some old cavities I had from when I was a kid. So I was absolutely numb, I couldn't talk. And then when the numbing wore off, <laughs> my jaw hurt like crazy so I couldn't talk. So I'm back with you. But the thing I wanna talk about today is having true gratitude. You can never ever, in my opinion, you can never ever ever be truly successful unless you have gratitude for what you already have. If you're not grateful for the good things, and I promise you have good things, but if you're not grateful about the good things in your life now, the million dollars, the successful company, the girl guy of your dreams, whatever it is, it's still not gonna make you happy or joyful like we've talked about before. So you need to find time and to slow down and realize that you have things in your life. Now, I don't know who's gonna end up seeing these videos, but in America, even if you make the lowest amount of money you can make, you still are in the top 2% of people in the world. There, I mean, it could be as simple as you're alive. I mean, there's so many things to be grateful for. And I understand that people have such a hard, um, hard time stepping back and realizing that. I absolutely understand that. I've been in those situations, but one thing I can promise you is that you have stuff to be grateful for. You absolutely do. And so in my opinion, you need to take time. You need to step back and you need to be truly thankful for what you have. You need to find a way to be happy and joyful about what you already have. I'm not telling you that you need to be satisfied with what you had and I have. And I think that's kind of where people get it confused when I talk about this. I am absolutely grateful for the things I have. I have a lot of great, great things in my life, but I'm not satisfied with where I'm at. I'm not satisfied at all with where I'm at. So I'm gonna keep moving and I'm gonna keep growing. And when I have failures, and I will, when I have those failures in my life, I'm gonna be grateful for those. Because Benjamin Franklin said that he didn't find a hundred wrong ways of making a light bulb. He found, or excuse me, he didn't, find, he didn't fail a thousand times. He found a thousand ways not to make a light bulb. Yes, if you think about it, it's, kind of the same thing, but it's not. It's the attitude based on the failure. You don't fail, you learn. But if you keep doing the same failures over and over and over and over again, and you're not learning from them, then they are failures. So even my failures I'm grateful for, excuse me, my learning opportunities I'm grateful for. Oh man, that sun is like crazy today, isn't it? Sorry about that, man. Apparently, I can't really get rid of it. Let's see if I put this down. Oh, that helps a little bit. Um, but I'm extremely grateful for the things that um, my learning opportunities that I have. And I've had a lot in my life. I've lost a lot of money. I've lost a lot of time. I've lost good relationships. All because of things that I personally did. But I have to step back and I look at those as learning opportunities that I have. I don't do those same things anymore. And because of that, I feel I grow as a person and I'm extremely grateful for that. So I need you guys, I want you guys, and I pray that you guys step back. Look at the things that have gone wrong in your life and look at them as learning opportunities. And then I want you to step back and so in my last video, I told you guys that my mothers had to give me essentially a car that I had sold to them. I am so sorry about this, son. Uh, but like I told you, I don't edit these videos. 
I want them to be raw. I want them to be natural. Anyways, so my mother's had to give me a car because I'm not financially in a place that I can buy my own. I don't want to be there. And that experience has given me the drive and I'm so grateful for that. I mean, I'm digging and digging and digging every day. I'm moving towards a company that I'm starting that I've kind of just put on the back burner and every day I'm scrapping and I'm clawing and I'm kicking harder and harder and harder every single day because of that. So I'm so grateful for that. So that's what I need you guys to understand. You all have something to be grateful for. You really do. Even if you're down, you still have something to be grateful for. You're alive. And because you are alive, you can you can move and you can grow and you can become a better person. You can listen to my videos. You can listen to Tony Robbins and you know all of these inspirational people. Sometimes I like listening to uh, religious pastors and things like that because I like to listen to the stories and the uplifting parts of them. And I, you can grow and you can learn. So be grateful you woke up this morning. You know. Maybe you have, maybe you work somewhere that you hate, but at least you're working. It's something to be grateful for. And I truly, truly, truly believe that you have to be grateful for the things you have before you get the things that you want. Because there's, there's no end in life, in my opinion. Okay, there's death, there's end to the physical life, but... As far as growing and moving, there's no end. If your goal is to make a million dollars, it doesn't stop when you make a million dollars. I promise you, you're gonna make the million dollars and if you don't move and grow from that million dollars, whether you put a bigger goal in place, you change your focus, whatever it is, you're not gonna be happy. You're not gonna be joyful. You're not gonna be able to have gratitude in life unless you can take that time right now today as you're watching this video you've got to take this time and be grateful for the things you have i've told you before when i sit down to dinner with the kids every single night we talk about what we're grateful for that day i don't let them use last week last month last year i don't let them use what's coming up in the future they have to use what they're grateful for that day and here's one thing i can tell you is when we started this exercise, it was rough. And I mean very rough. My, my kids, they couldn't see the things that they were grateful for. They couldn't see that they got to play outside in the sprinkler with their friends. I had to actually stop and point out, you know, if you didn't get to do that, what would you be doing? Sitting inside in your room, you know, annoying me or your mother and being grounded or whatever it is you got to do that and they should be grateful for that they got to have you know go to Dairy Queen which is an ice cream place got to go to Dairy Queen after dinner that's, that's something to be grateful or let's say after lunch because we do it at dinner that's something to be grateful for yes it's not a big thing one of my favorite quotes I have a lot of favorite quotes if you haven't realized this. But Tony Robbins says that when he does his um, his time of gratitude, he does his in the morning, which I think is awesome. Helps you start out your day. But when he does things, his gratitude things, he starts the small things and grows out. And he says, you know, even thankful that he has the wind on his cheeks. That's amazing. I mean, that's something so small and minuscule that you don't even pay attention to. That's a pretty awesome thing if you think about it. You, as Gary Vaynerchuk says, you've won the lottery four and a trillion, or four trillion to one, that you were born on this earth. It was a four trillion to one opportunity, so you've already won that lottery, and something as small as the wind on your breath is something to be grateful for. Now, this video is kind of long, and I know generally my videos are four to seven minutes-ish, 
but this is important and I need you guys to do this. I need you guys to start finding those little things. And I promise you, if you make this a daily habit to find the things you're grateful for, your life will start to change. You will start to realize these little tiny minuscule things that before you didn't even recognize, before you just saw them as just just coincidences or in, just incidents in your day, you're going to be grateful for them, for what you've learned, for what they've taught you, for what they've brought into your life. So once again, gratitude, it's an extremely important thing. Please, please, please try to make this a daily habit. And I, it's going to be hard at first. It's not going to be an easy test to be able to sit down and actually visualize these things that you're grateful for. I'm grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for my viewers. Um, I pray that you pass this on to your friends, your family. I pray that I'm doing you a service and helping you guys out. I want you to grow with me. I want to help you grow. As I told you before, I'm on my path. If I can help raise you ab up, even above me, I want to. That's what I want to do. I want to work with you guys. So subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Comment what you like, what you don't like, what you want me to change. Topics you want me to talk about. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. I'm so grateful that YouTube is here, that I can put out these videos for you guys. I, I love this. I love doing this. And I, I'm grateful for the opportunities I've had in my life. I'm grateful that I have a job that I enjoy. I'm grateful I get to talk to you guys. I'm grateful that I have a car that I can drive every day. I have so many things I'm grateful for. So just try to make this a daily practice. I love you guys. If there's ever anything I can do for you, get a hold of me on Facebook. I have still not done the Twitter thing, and I am so sorry. I haven't done the Instagram thing, so you can't find me on there yet. So, but I'm on Facebook. Jeremy Biddle on Facebook. I'm the one in Indiana. Um, as of right this minute, my profile picture is me standing in an orange hoodie with my arm around my mom. As you guys know, I moved here to be with my mom to help her out. So, you know, talk to me. Let me know what you need. What? Let me know what I can do for you. Anyways, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for your time. Um, I will try to bring these videos back to the you know four to seven minutes I've had before. This is just something I'm super passionate about. So, anyways, you guys go. You have a great day, and I will see you guys back again here tomorrow.